bet you guys never see an intro from Facebook. <laughs> no, we're at Facebook headquarters right now. We're about to go live on my Facebook, which will be pretty cool. Never have had a studio before, so it's definitely going to be a different atmosphere from my car. <laughs> so it's definitely a little nice. I got to clean up a little bit for once, and we're going to be going live soon. Get some uh, comments in. We'll see. Answer some questions. Yeah. It's stupid. <laughs> I said, wow, yeah, he's crushing it. Six yeah. <laughs> uh, that's Six just my presentation. Like, like, and then he's like, no, 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 he's so it's all this yeah. whole crazy. You watch the video and right. still you and you and Noah have the highest interaction rate. Right? Okay. So people are interacting with your content more often, um, more frequently. With, um, Please film it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can do uh, yeah. You want to put a hat on, Haley, or no? No. <laughs> no. I'm not. Okay. Oh really? Put a hat on? Are you kidding me? Well, should we? <laughs> so you know. I did not curl my hair to put a hat on. Going <laughs> live on Facebook in ten minutes. <laughs> Woo! -hoo! She said something funny, feel free to laugh. You don't have to pretend like you're not in the room. Okay, cool. You know, we're all friends here. We all know that there's a studio surrounding her. Okay. We're all uh, gonna just have a very good time. If something goes wrong for some reason, you know, I'm, you I'm good at playing up. Don't, don't pretend like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. like video area before so it's cool different experience so we're going to be answering some questions so first question what's been the biggest challenge of your first full Canaan season I think my biggest challenge right now is just the lack of experience I have at all these tracks all these tracks that I'm coming to I'm the rookie at every track even if like there's other people that race in the series a little bit like I'm new going to every single track this point in the season is gateway I think because that tracks about a mile and a quarter and that track's gonna be fun it definitely be getting up to pace uh, definitely fast track so I'm excited for that one it's gonna be a fun experience uh, it's definitely gonna be different from the usual little short tracks like orange show and the quarter miles which I tend to do a uh, decent I got fourth at orange show which is pretty good and like the big, biggest form of racing right now in America is NASCAR so I thought like why not try that I really have nothing to lose I can only get better from here so what's my favorite hometown restaurant uh, I think favorite hometown restaurant. I don't know. I'm pretty like basic. I go like Chipotle and like Panera all the time. <laughs> How do you switch from dirt racing to asphalt racing? Is asphalt more appealing? I feel like switching from dirt to asphalt, it's definitely easier than switching from asphalt to dirt. I feel like dirt just gives you a good solid base in racing that not many people can learn from stock car racing. Good job. So 
so many women that I know that want to be where you are right now. Do you feel kind of like the kind of, kind of the kind of the weight of of the, the, the female wannabes in your way, kind of on your shoulders when you get out there. Yeah, I feel like there's not many, there's not any girls really racing in the NASCAR series. There's not many at all. You stand on the track and go, what's up with that? I know, yeah. yeah. I'm like, I'm out there and realizing like, hey, this weekend at like Sonoma, I'm the only girl on the track. Right. Like, it's just crazy to realize that how limited the whole girls are racing is mm -hmm. and how male dominated it is for having so long. And I just kind of <laughs> Our reigning Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series champion, Martin Truex Jr. and two-time NASCAR Next Class member, Haley Deegan. This is a big match for that. She's the driver of the number 19 Toyota Camry for Bill McAnally Racing. McAnally Racing based out of Roseville. Uh, she's making her first Sonoma Raceway start this Saturday in the NASCAR k and Pro Series. Haley became the first female to win a race at a championship of the Lucas Off-Road Racing, Lucas Oil Off-Road Racing Series in 2013. And of course, in 2016, she won the Modified Park Champion in the Lucas Oil Off-Road Racing Series it was named the Lucas Oil Off-Road Road Driver of the Year. She made her asphalt late model debut just last year, so uh, she's the dirt princess. Now she wants to be the asphalt queen. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to get away from that nickname for the longest time now. <laughs> asphalt queen is pretty good. You know, like, you know. But uh, she's currently sixth of the NASCAR West Series point standings in her first season. And she's had experience in both the East and the West Series, more in the West, and she said, uh, top 10 finishes, if I'm not mistaken, in every race that you've had, right? Mm -hmm. That's right, and a couple of top fives, too, yeah. which is really nice. But, uh, tell us about your background and how you got started and how that path has led you to the NASCAR series. Yeah, I started racing when I was eight years old. Um, my dad really made the transition from freestyle motocross to off-road racing. I was seven years old at the time, and I remember going to his first race, I think it was back in 2008, and I remember seeing these little cars that kids eight years old and uh, older were racing, and I was just so intrigued by it, and I begged my parents. Like most kids, like seven year old girls, they're like, Oh, I want a pony for my birthday, type thing. And I was like, No, I want a race car. And <laughs> ever since then, I just fell in love with it. Um, I won two championships in the off road series, only girl to ever win championships races. Um, and then I made my debut in the pro series last year, and I was leading the entire time. Ended up making a little bobble and getting second, but no girls ever really ran up front in those series. So it was definitely a big accomplishment for me, and I kind of felt like I wanted to see what was next, what else I could do in racing, uh, what was the next challenge. And I think of you think of NASCAR as the biggest uh, racing series in America, and I just saw maybe there's something there for me. Why not try? By the way, you do have your license now. Actually. I do have my license. How, how yes. many times did it take you to pass the road test? Only one. Uh, Surprisingly, I have not got pulled over yet, considering I speed about everywhere, but <laughs> not one. Not one. member, the only female selected for both last year and this year's NASCAR Next classes. Um, what do these honors mean to you? It's just a really great thing to experience. I feel like there's not many people out there that get to experience those type of moments in their racing career. And I'm just really excited for the future of what's coming up and everything that's been happening in the past year, past two years, just all these different programs being picked up by Toyota. It's just really an eye opener to I need to put all this hard work into my racing and I have been as much as I can and just all this hard work will eventually pay off. Hi Martin, thanks for coming out. You're welcome. Um, you said So we just finished up today. We went to Facebook headquarters, which is different. It was cool. I've never been there any place.
place like there before. It was a cool experience meeting everyone, figuring out like all the new technology these kids are using these days. But <laughs> I, I wouldn't know. But uh, we're just yeah, just hanging out. Make sure you guys subscribe to the Keegan 38 YouTube channel. Keep updated all our cool stuff. Hit that notification bell.